Alright everyone, this tutorial is going to be showing you how to stream to Justin TV using VH screen capture, virtual audio cable, and flash media encoder. So let's get started. Let's start with the VH screen capture. Pretty much this is a program that'll allow you to capture the things you want to stream on your computer screen. So you can come to this website you download the screen capture driver pretty simple pretty basic then what you want to do is go to start find this configure VH screen capture then you'll come up with this screen you'll either have you'll either have nothing in here and if you do you need to create one or if there's one already there just select it and what I have found best for Justin TV are these settings First, under the capture tab, you want to have none of these selected if you want to record a custom size. What you do is press the select button and select whatever size you want. Pretty simple. Then come to settings. I like to use 15 frames per second, nice and easy. Align video and then I don't need to show the mouse, show clicks you don't want to have captured layered windows selected you don't want to optimize the screen capture then you want to resize your output size have that checked check the linear resize in 32-bit mode check the keep aspect and check the specify output size what seems to be best is 640 by 480 pixels and the about tab you can just there's nothing. So that's pretty much the VH screen capture. Pretty simple, nice and easy. Now let's go to the more complicated virtual audio cable. Now I'm assuming you already have virtual audio cable downloaded. If you don't have it downloaded, it's really easy to install. Real simple. So once you have it installed, you want to go to let's see, uh, you want to find the virtual audio cable folder then you want to go to the control panel this is pretty you really don't want to change anything you just want to have one cable to change the cables you up here in the left one two but we'll just leave it at one that's all we need and make sure you have if you're using a 64-bit operating system you want to have version 4.10 it's the easiest version to work with the computer and whatnot so have 4.10 if you don't have a 64 the other versions should work perfectly fine alright so we don't need the control panel anymore next come down to the sound in the bottom right you wanna right click select any of these playback recording or sounds they all go to the same same place now as you'll see we now have the line one virtual audio cable installed Originally, you'll pr you're probably going to have your speaker set as your default. What you want to do is set your line 1 to your default. Now, this may sound weird because it's the playback, and you'll be wondering, well, how am I supposed to hear it if it's going to line, line 1? That's what we're about to change. Next, once after you have line 1 set as default, go to the recording tab. You'll also see that there's a line 1 uh, option here. Next, click on click on it, go to properties, make sure you're under recording tabs. Click properties, then go to listen. You'll come up with this screen and this is a little diagram which will, which shows you how the line one is behaving. Pretty much this left side refers to the input and the right side is the output. So we have line one as the input and we have our speaker as the output, which is exactly how we'll hear out of line one. So you have you want to listen to this device, then you want to play back through whatever you want to listen to, whether it be headphones or your speakers or whatever. I have it as the speakers. And you want to make sure you have to listen to this device selected. Now now let's say you want to add commentary oh oh before we get to that. What that did, that lets you play the audio from the computer 
onto your speakers. That'll allow you to stream that. But let's say you want to stream some commentary also. You want to right click on your microphone tab, go to properties, make sure you're under the recordings, go to properties, go to the listen tab, then what you want to do is have your input be the microphone and your output be the line one cable. Now to actually get it to start streaming you want to click on listen to this device. That, that'll let your commentary and the computer sounds to go through the streams. Simple as that. That's really all it is. I'm not going to check it right now but that's all it needs to be. And that is pretty much it for the virtual audio cable. You don't really need to worry about any of the other any other options with the um, audio repeater you might have heard in other tutorials we don't have we're not worrying about that so now let's go to FME so for Justin TV what you first want to do is get your uh, configuration file out of the advanced options I'll post this link in the description so you don't have to worry about it so you download your configuration file so you have that next you want to go to once you have flash media encoder downloaded from the adobe website i'll also put this link in go open it and what you want to do is go to file open profile and select the um, select the configuration file that you downloaded next let's look at the encoding options that we want to do so if you want to be recording your screen you want to select a VH screen capture device there's all these devices down here but we want to do the VH screen capture then for format what works best as it loads is VP6 that's what I like to use then frame rate which we had before on the VH screen capture option 15 frames also works now this is pretty much the section where you're just gonna have to mess with and see whatever dimensions work best for you but for me personally streaming I like to use 1280 by 720 for the input size then a bit rate of 1200 and then an output size of 640 by 350 now a general generally you want to have your output size about half of your input size it just increases the quality slightly that you don't have to but I find that it works best now for audio since we have all of our commentary and our computer sounds going through line one we want to have the line one device to be the virtual audio cable there's other options like the microphone but we don't want that we want since our microphone is going through line one we want it just to be line one then format mp3 channels mono or stereo doesn't matter uh... then sample rate it doesn't really matter you can just put it whatever and bit rate ninety six seems to be good and that really is all that you need to stream and all you would have to do is just press the start button and you're ready to go now once you press that if you get some uh, connection errors like like as you can see right here it might have uh, when you opened your uh, configuration file you might have had an error and you need to uh, just copy and paste your stream key into here now to get your stream key what you would go you would go back to Justin TV and click on show your stream key this link will also be in the description as I said before so all you do is just copy and paste it right into the stream simple as that okay and that's pretty much all you need to stream from what I found all these options seem to work perfect and hopefully you guys will be able to get all of it it's it's really simple the using the virtual audio cable with the VH screen capture flash media it's really not that hard all you gotta do is just follow things close and simple and I hope everything will work out for you guys and good luck in your fellow streaming